I am in my prime. In my brain, oh. My! Walk into our mask to come and read. All right, I finished my makeup. Schedule it, you know. <laughs> Wanna see you holy. Not allowed to say no. <laughs> Yo, first of all, it's a different day. I have on the same sweatshirt, okay? Like, that's just what it is now. But to me why, for days now, I could not find my business credit card. And I don't usually lose things like this. Ah, this is not me, but I, I don't know where it is, okay? So I had to cancel it and get a new one. Ugh. Wait, is this the same color? I like my cards that have different colors. That way I can easily pick it out of my bag, whatever. So I ordered a new one. So I've been, I've been over a week without my card. And as you can imagine, when I canceled it, all the things that I had connected to it are emailing me like, your account could not be charged, billing update needed, da 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 da. And I'm just like, oh my God, I need my new card to update this billing, you know, all my, all my billing things that are, you know, subscriptions. They're like, billing <laughs> didn't go through and all this stuff. So thank God my card is here. So that I can, this card is different. It looks different. Okay, thank God it's here so I can update everything. Listen, business, business stuff, okay? What up, Wagwan? I actually just finished my therapy session, showered all of the things, and now I'm headed out to a Valentine's Day lunch with my girl Carmen, and I'm gonna take you with me. Here's my outfit of the day. This room is not <laughs> ready for viewing, but here we are. This is my first time ever wearing boyfriend jeans. I never would have thought that my body type could wear boyfriend jeans and I'm very happy. These are a size 15 and they are loose and I like it. I'm used to all of my jeans being so tight, but it feels good to wear jeans that are not sucking me down. This blazer is old. It's a white tank top from, a bodysuit, excuse me, from Amazon and Valentino belt heeled sandals. I'm actually wearing a colored, a colored lip today right we really do this this is lime crime i'll show it to you in a second and because i knew that i was wearing a blazer i just knew that putting my hair back would be the move because i haven't done that in a, like i just there's certain hairstyles that go with certain looks and if you know that then you are far ahead when it comes to styling yourself there are certain hairstyles that go with certain outfits I pair my hairstyles with outfits. That is just important. If I'm trying to put a certain outfit on and my hair is not gonna go with it, the hair's coming out, okay? That's just what's gonna be. This is the Lime Crime Fuchsia Flare. It's more pink than, than purple to me. I am in my prime. Let's go to lunch. They be hating over there. They don't like all the, the vlogging, but we are gonna do it the best we can. Okay, praise the Lord. Okay, so a few things. I'm taking my lipstick with me, which I normally don't do, but I am because it's a pink. And the last thing I need is for my pink to be looking stupid in public. Secondly, I'm wearing, this was a gift. I just got in the mail recently. Love it. Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid by Victor and Rolf. It's nice. Actually, let me spray some more on. It's not a strong fragrance, and I really want my fragrance today to be undeniable. I really wish I had put on Lancome La Vie et Belle, but here we are. I'm gonna go turn off all my candles and go. I have you with me and then I've got my lipstick. Can you hear the heels, honey? It's heel season. Oh, I left my milk outside, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, I, need to put a, I need to put a water in the car. You know, I need to get better with my water intake. I'm not very good with it. Excuse me, look at my mouth. Okay, what else? I do not drink ice cold water, but, cause I can't drink it fast. And I just hate when you take too big of a sip with ice cold water and it gives you a brain freeze or whatever. I just can't. <laughs> you better stop. This dryer machine be uh, alerting us when it's ready. Not today, please. Try for live, yeah. And I need to, put air in my tire Ugh. wow <laughs> it wasn't much of a struggle to <laughs> to get in the car okay so i uh, expected a struggle while getting in the car <laughs> so i got in the car like i was pregnant and it didn't require all that i have on boyfriend jeans they're not squeezing me tight remember we talked about this but i was expecting them to squeeze me tight so i got in like i had to roll like a whale <laughs> And I didn't even need to roll like a whale. I'm annoyed. Hi. All right. Let's put my lipstick in my bag. 
I got my water. The bag matches me today, so I did not have to change that. I love just wearing my white Gucci. I don't, I don't go many places anyway, so it is my daily bag, and then it usually matches because it's white. Like, what else do we need? Why am I huffing and puffing? Am I huffing and puffing? Press a lot. All right, man, I wanted to go to the tailor, but I didn't leave home in time. I'll have to go tomorrow. I have some stuff that I need tailored before my trip, which I'm gonna take y'all on. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget. But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah, you You always make me feel like oh yeah You never leave my thoughts alone Yeah, you You're the reason you. We just have to. Yes, thank you. We just need to schedule it, you know. Oh, love! Yeah, we live here too. We're just having lunch. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. It's good. It is. Yeah. And it's a cute vibe too. Exactly. Except we're gonna love the food, but we are gonna love the ambiance. That's right. That's what matters. Oh my God, that is so fun. Where are you headed to now? You're gonna explore. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're gonna go shop and spend yes, their money. Yes, you. Yes, you. That's of course. Yes, you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, check that off. Absolutely. Well, we have time to go to Urban. That's where we're headed. Yes. Yeah. Fun. No, this is a nice area. We actually had our dinner at Armando's. Oh, no, I haven't. It's really great. Nice really. Hi, What's it called? Mm. Armando's. 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 Yeah. Armando's. Oh, yeah, I don't like it. Love it's that. Mexican? Yeah. Yes, but like, Hi, Atlanta. How long have you been in Houston? Ooh, Are you from here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, you're a Houston. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> love it. And are you loving it? You want to move? Whenever I have guests, they want to move. Yeah, I mean, I want to move back. <laughs> oh, you're from here? Yeah, okay. originally, but oh. I'm married into Michigan. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. I was going to be like, it's so cold. Because it's cold there, there right oh now. The summer is amazing. Yeah. Like, they don't ever talk about They don't advertise that. And I see why they want to keep it on the low. Yeah. Yeah. But if you guys ever want to, like, you know, have, like, a girls weekend, yeah. do Detroit. Yeah. Love it. Love Yeah. Y'all have a good time. I know. Yes, you yes, too. Enjoy you guys take care. Thank like, you. Oh, oh my God. Well, we're, thank we're trying, you. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying to do a little something. We're trying to do a little something. Yeah, you're doing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, you better enjoy oh, life. Enjoy that's it. me. All right. So All right. I'll see you at our mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll okay. Be there. okay. All right, girl. Oh, they were so cute and so funny. Is this the guy? Is that Abbas? Yes. Thank you so much. Mm. All right, take care. Okay, it's just the blessings of the Lord. My yeah. husband, he's lucky. Thank you. I want to remind him hey, of that. Him. What is going on? What is going on? Okay, so now we are headed to Hermes. Ah, before I go, there were such sweet people. Who, who, what's, what's going on with you all? You ain't trying to move? Okay, now we're headed to Hermes. That was so nice. We met some real sweet ladies out, out at the front of <laughs> Bloomin' Bee. They were so cute. We all had the same sunglasses, girl. The gold ones, and then one of them had on the black one, the black mini fade. Is it a mini fade? Black high key? Girl, I don't know. The black fade? That one. <sighs> so we're going to go check out some stuff at Hermes. I want to get a fragrance. For my husband i had smelled it there last time i'm gonna get it oh my god our carmen smells so good girl you smell so good 
she has on Baccarat Rouge and I smelled Baccarat Rouge I have a sample of Baccarat Rouge I liked it but I wasn't in love with it but on her I was like excuse me I'm in love with this so now I want to get Baccarat Rouge I'm getting it but we're not going to the mall we don't have time so I'm going to order Baccarat Rouge online I also want Fluidity Gold so I'm torn should I get Fluidity Gold first or should I get Baccarat Rouge, Baccarat Rouge first I liked it on her so much when she hugged me I was like excuse me hello hi and that is literally how I felt about it so yeah now I'm so torn but let's go see what this Hermes fragrance talking about and then we're gonna go from there mad boy but I'm confused shouldn't you be keeping me and telling you to I can't yo so I'm on my way home right now and I I don't know what this is about so the last time that I was in Hermes, this one lady helped us and she was okay. She wasn't, it wasn't like she had gone above and beyond, but she was okay. So it just was what it was. And today we went in. Now I don't expect that she remembers me. So I can't imagine that it's more like, oh, I remember her and let me not be nice. But she wasn't the nicest. She wasn't the rudest I've ever experienced, but she also wasn't the nicest. It's like, excuse me, this is not stop and shop. This is not CVS. This is Hermes. Why are you being so unhelpful? So I went in there for a fragrance and I'm like, oh, can you show me the signature fragrance? Oh, these are all signature. I'm like, okay, but there's a signature fragrance. Last time that I was in here, I was told that there was a particular one that was a signature fragrance for men. And so she points me in the direction. And then I'm like, okay, but which one of these is a parfum? I want a parfum, not a toilet. She literally points toward one of the fragrances and goes, it's right here. You can read it right here to see which is which. I was like, okay, so there's no one-on-one -on -one customer service here. Everyone's supposed to just get whatever they want on their own. And I'm not sure if she heard me, but she kind of sauntered away. And I'm like, what in the whole hell? So I was there with Carmen and I'm like, yo, what kind of customer service is this? This cannot be normal. This cannot be normal. I refuse to feel like... I refuse to accept this as normal. So another lady walked over to us. Now, the, the first woman who was rude, in my opinion, that was extremely rude. This, it doesn't matter. Okay, so then another lady walks over to us and she assists. Hi, do you need help? I said, you know what, I would love that. I said, is that, is that what you all normally do? Do you assist when we're shopping for a fragrance one-to-one? -one? She's like, yeah, I mean, what do you need help with? I said, I would love that help. Thank you. I said, you know what? There was another associate who was very unhelpful to me. So I do appreciate you coming over to see if I needed some assistance because yes, I do. So I was asking her about the fragrances. I said, do you all tell us the, the notes of these fragrances or am I supposed to just smell them on my own and figure out what I want by myself? And she's like, oh, no, no, I can tell you. So we were discussing one and I got one for my husband for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, I really do appreciate it. Turns out the lady that walked over to me is a manager. I didn't know that. But I'm like, of course it's a manager. She's doing what they're supposed to be doing. This other lady was acting real trifling. And I don't know what that means. You know, it's easy to jump to the, oh, because I'm black. But I'm not that kind of a person. I don't walk into somewhere with my blackness on my mind. I just walk in as a person, a human being. So I don't always jump to, oh, because I'm black, you treat me like this. But it was peculiar because I'm thinking, are you, are you okay? Are you well? Like, what, who are you to tell me that I can just read? Yes, I know I can read. I passed first grade. I can read. Okay? That's not what I'm here for. I didn't walk into Hermes to come and read. If I wanted to read, I'll pick up a book. I'll pick up the encyclopedia. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a seat. I was like, hmm, don't have me acting out in Hermes now. You know, but I did find a different fragrance that I went in there for. So I found a different one because the other one I thought I liked a while ago. No, I don't like it anymore. I was like, wait, I don't like this. So I found a different one. But it's like, yo, can you help me? I mean, you get better service than Sephora, for God's sake. What is this? What kind of establishment is this? I don't like that. Last time they had no air condition. And now this time the lady's rude. Like, are you well? I want to be like, excuse me, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Ah, no. Don't be doing that to me on this fine afternoon. I'm not here to do all this. 
You can fix your face in your mouth and assist me with good customer service. I've done nothing to you. I don't deserve this. Are you okay? Yo, know, so I'm back home and I'm about to do some work. Every now and then I have to stay up late to catch up and tonight is one of those nights. It's not my preference, but it has to happen. I ordered my contacts. I told you about that. I'm not sure, but I ran out of contacts and I ordered some. These came in real fast. Went in hundred contacts. So thank God for that because I'm literally wearing, not now, but I'm on my last ever pair. I never let it get down that low. I don't know what's wrong with me. I waited too long, but thank God these came in because if you wear contacts you know what it feels like to just have one left because stuff happens you might lose one you might have a dry eye day you lose one or one is just real just dirty you just can't get it clear it's irritating you so i'm glad i have my extras now so i don't know about you but i've been wearing accuview vita brand for a very long time and you know whatever i just whatever and my prescription is actually the same for each eye 3.75 on both eyes so thank god okay there are six wait six and six so i get to wear them for six months they are two week lenses but my doctor told me that it's okay for me to wear them one month if i'm not having issues and i usually don't so i wear them for a month so this is a six month supply praise god i'm very grateful for that but yeah, I'm about to just do some work because I have videos to videos to review, video like just videos to review, videos to schedule, just like stuff. So I've been just... trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work. charcuterie fruit board that I have become a pro at making. I make these now every weekend and I really actually look forward to it. It just looks so pretty. Let me show you what I made today. Okay, here it is, but I just had a revelation. I just realized that I can put different textures because I have different colors going on. These are bananas, but I should do different textures too. Like I have pecans. I could have easily put some pecans in here to make it different. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do some pecans on here because I completely forgot that I could do that. You can do whatever you want with these boards, but they've become such a fun staple to look forward to. They're cute and it encourages fruit eating all day. So I just, it just makes me so happy. against myself i'm not gonna self-sabotage open-handed smack in the mouth <laughs> mm, not in the mouth oh we what happened stay in the middle lane growth happens in the light how do we I'm start challenging over again? when to open and when to close and so i think it's absolutely biblical for us to have self boundaries and don't let anybody's misinterpretation of scripture tell you that you're not allowed to say no to other people or to wear yourself out but Protect the gift of God that's within you. That's good. Protect the gift of God that's within you. Protect it from you. I'm not talking about other people. Mm. Saying no to yourself means I'm going to protect the gift of God that's within me. And that when I say no weapon formed against me shall prosper, I am saying that includes me. I'm not going to be a weapon against myself. I'm not going to self-sabotage. I'm not going to self-betray. Alrighty. Finally found a place somewhere. I got yeah. one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have four pants, and I wonder if I can have them hemmed. I can try okay. them on. Yeah. It mm -hmm. should be like, I hope, like okay. simple. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So right in here. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. How long do you think it will take? Good morning, Wagwan. 
I'm getting ready in the bathroom filming content and I'm gonna take you with me because we get chit chat and stuff like that. Okay, now I don't know if this angle gonna be good or not, but here I have you. Let me tell you something. If you're a business owner or you just use credit cards often, let me let me tell you a little bit of a hack. And it I don't even think it is because it is a hack, but if you don't know, you just don't know. Okay, so I'm a business owner, obviously, and I have a business credit card. So I use that card to pay for everything, and then I pay my card off. So I purposefully chose a credit card that gave me flyer miles because I love to travel, and it's on my yearly to-do list every quarter. And why not get a card that is going to give me points? Ooh, there's a hair in my mouth. So I have a, I have over a hundred thousand points, okay, almost two hundred thousand points. That is the equivalent of two thousand dollars, because when you spend a dollar on my card, Make America, I get three points, something like that, right? Something like that. I don't know, okay. I get a lot, okay. And then when you break down the points, when you look at the price of a ticket, I would have. Let's say I had 200,000 points, that's $2,000. So just imagine if you're flying somewhere and it's like 200, 200, 200, let's say Houston, Atlanta, Houston, to Charlotte, Houston, to Miami, Houston, or whatever, and it's like two, dollars $300 a flight. That's mad flights, okay? Now let's say you're gonna go internationally and your flight at the hotel, the flight is $600. That's a few international flights too. But you can also use it for, I think restaurants, but definitely rental cars and I forget what else, parking, I don't know. But my only concern is to use it for, I just laid down my edges again. My only concern is to use it for flights, yo. So I'm just saying, if you if you have the discipline, back when I was younger, I did not have the discipline. I had credit cards in college, didn't know what I was doing. I shouldn't have had them, tanked my, tanked, tanked my credit score. And right now, thank God my credit score is close to 800. So I'm very proud of myself. It wasn't, no, it was not like that, okay? But if you have the discipline, get a credit card that's going to allow you travel rewards, but also get one that is going to allow you to use the rewards on any airline. So I used to, I, I still have it. I just don't use it because when you close a credit card too early, it's not good for your credit, credit report. So I just have, I have a credit card that I don't use. And that one is specific for Southwest bad idea because what if you want to go somewhere and it's not the Southwest doesn't go there right but so the one I have my business credit my my business credit card excuse me I'm very excited so I'm like stumbling my business credit card is for uh, it goes any for any airline so just a little tidbit there so I just booked a flight internationally for what free no taxes no nothing absolutely free and then I'll pay for the hotel so I just want to put you on. Just want to put you on. Conversations on trauma, resilience, and healing. This book is also a 2021 release, and it's by Dr. Bruce Perry and Oprah Winfrey. This book is an in-depth exploration of trauma and how it affects the brain. Long before we can make a rational sense of our traumatic experience, they become etched in our brains, also in our bodies. Yeah. And they influence how we respond to stress, form relationships, and make meaning out of the other things that we walk through in this life. And that includes setting boundaries. This is so check Anita it Phillips. out. What happened to you? Conversations on trauma, wow, resilience, and healing book. by Dr. Bruce Perry and Oprah Winfrey. And of course, Set Boundaries, Find Peace, A Guide to Reclaiming Yourself by Nedra glover Tawab. You can find both of these books when you sign up with our sponsor. I'm terrible with this, but just let it be something that you just kind of turn over in your heart. Look around, decide where to start. You know, it can't be all at once, especially if you really don't have well-defined boundaries in the first place, or you have so many rigid boundaries everywhere you can hardly move. Mm. Think about where you want to be with it this time next year. We always want to rush change. We think we can just throw it up overnight and make it happen. It's not like that. You know, you're going to set some boundaries and then blow them and rebuild them, readjust them. It's a lifestyle change for some of us to really have the boundaries that we need, the kind that are healthy, not too rigid, not too loose, but just right. I'm looking at trying 
a boundary associated with starting my work at a certain time each day. I'm not great with starting at a certain time each day. I can be kind of all over the place with that. And I'd like to commit my hours more specifically. Yeah, you know, I need to exfoliate my nose. I keep so on forgetting. I end my day Jesus. at the time that I choose and have those hours left over in the evening before I start my new day by going to sleep. You guys remember that, right? I'm going to be reminding you every now and then this year, are you getting your sleep? If sleep is a challenge, you getting your sleep, girl? What's going on? Resetting because it has such a huge effect on every other part of our life. So I'm looking at putting a few more boundaries around my time yeah. and see how that affects other things. I saw Nedra Glover Tawab post something last week, I think, that was a great question that is there an area of your life where there's a lot of frustration mm. and if there is that could be a good area to look at as some place to start mm. when it comes to change i'm all for bang for the buck so let's start with something that is likely to have a domino effect and improve other areas as well we don't have to do a hundred little things sometimes there's one thing that we can do yeah. that will actually have a ripple effect so is there an area of high frustration in your life and if so some of you are like oh yeah i know what that is that might be the perfect space to start with making a boundary that would reduce your frustration and sometimes it can be hard to figure out what that might be so you might need to get in conversation with somebody else yeah. When we've been doing something the same way for a long time, it can feel like we're doing it that way because we have to, or that's the only way that it can be done. But remember, we don't have to. We choose and we choose not to. Ooh. And what choices are you making? Ooh. What choices could you change? Ooh. How could we begin to build this boundary in a way that will reduce we our choose frustration and we choose level? Not to. We could all wow. use that. Want to get on though to the interview today because we have an incredible guest. Danny Wheatley's going to be with us again, but we also have a guest coming to talk to us about one of the areas in life that boundaries are most needed and where they are least found. Mm. And that is in toxic relationships. We are going to talk about narcissism today. Mm. I think this could be one of the most requested topics that I get DMs about. Narcissism. How do you know if you're in a relationship with a narcissist? Oh what does that look like? How do you handle it? How do you get out of it? We have an incredible expert with us today who, man, so good. I'm so excited to share this with you. I feel like this is one of the episodes of In the Light that's going to be kind of an instant classic because this conversation about narcissism is going to really, really change, clarify. You know what is so crazy? Growing up, <clears throat> I know this term narcissism isn't isn't something that just came about two years ago. Hello. But it's obviously more widely talked about. And wow, I mean, it's scary because I do know that someone with a borderline person excuse me is it borderline no with a personality now i'm not a psych psychologist or clinical social worker okay i just do my research on things <clears throat> someone with a personality disorder could present as a narcissist like i didn't even i didn't even know what a personality disorder was until recently and then you think and be like wow so that's why so-and-so behaves this way or not that i go around diagnosing people but when you know when you're in relationship with someone platonic or friend doesn't matter and you just find it difficult to maintain that relationship and it's just always filled with stress and stress and just ridiculousness if you start to think about like yo why is this person like x y and z why is he or she always doing x y and z why is it always so blah 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 those are the kind of instances where I'm saying, if I just look into, oh, I gotta change the battery. Some of these, some of these uh, diagnoses, it's like, oh, that person might might be struggling with X, Y, and Z. Now, again, I'm not <clears throat> some kind of licensed psychologist, psychiatrist, but I'm just saying it helps 
to understand people who are in our lives a lot better when you can just try to understand that like yo maybe that person is wrestling with <laughs> x y and z many times they don't even know or sometimes they do know they just didn't tell you and they do know and they just didn't tell you baby okay all right i finished my makeup what do we think about it this is my basic makeup look using the products that i hear in my bathroom it looks so good and i set my face with the urban decay all night a long last makeup setting spray hello let's talk about it you need a setting spray for the winter months for the summer months for every month to make your makeup last a very long time you need the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Spray it before your foundation, spray it after your foundation, spray when your full face is done. It'll lock all the makeup in. It does leave a light satin glow. There's a matte one. I'm not using the matte one today. This one leaves you, like I said, with a little bit of a satin glow. I think it's beautiful. And this stuff is locked in, okay? Locked. Shining, shining in the light of your glory, pour all your power and love, we, yeah, holy, holy, it's not we, we, we sing, yeah, mm -hmm. I did what I could, okay, holy, holy, we want to see you holy, yeah, we want to see you holy. I want to see you. I haven't had time to figure out lunch. I'm going to order. I feel like I'm working in an office. And I'm like, let me order lunch today because I don't have time for this. I have things to do. I am busy. So the question is, where do I want to order from? My package from Neiman Marcus came in, but I don't even have time to go look at that. Oh, I like how warm this looks. This foundation, oops, oh, not you up there. I like how warm this looks. This foundation is warm. Do you see the orange? But I'm liking it. It's making me look warm. I just, I'm liking it today. Okay, Alexa, stop the music. I'm liking it. Okay, let me, you saw I had my Intima on. What is that? Oh, Brazilian shower gel. I'm gonna take it with me on my trip. <laughs> Let's get this going. I have this dolly i don't know what you call it put my sd card inside careful with, with the direction you put it in because sometimes you know i think it'll just mess up your whole situation if you put it in here wrong and you shove it oh, is that correct oh it doesn't go all the way in I'm it. and then let's take this out and put it into the computer and then i'm putting my i, I always want to call this an sd USB, USB, whatever. I'm putting that inside the dolly because that is where I house Final Cut Pro. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I house Final Cut Pro and it's where I house footage because I intentionally didn't get the laptop with a lot of footage because, excuse me, with a lot of space because when you house too many things on here and then you want to edit a video, girl, you're going to be here for two years trying to edit a video. Oh, no, ma'am. So I use that SD, no, USB drive to house my footage, lighting my candle, watermelon, lemonade. And then I just take it out and put it in when I need it because I'm not always using Final Cut Pro on my laptop. I use it on my desktop, I told you that already, but for pro for certain projects, I use my laptop and I do not need footage slowing down the performance of my laptop, hence why I use the Dolly. Oh, saying you didn't know, but I know you Good morning. I got a package in the mail yesterday. Did I tell you this? I don't know. But it's from Mimi Marcus. I ordered the Den... Gen <laughs> hang, hang on. Hold on. Let's bring this back. Woolen, woolen, woolen. I ordered the Maison Francis Curjean, Curjean pa Paris. Gentle, gentle... Oh my God. I can't fix my tongue. Gentle fluidity. Okay. Eau de parfum. Now, first, I've learned... 
just in the last 24 hours that they are it okay so the fragrances can come in eau de toilette which has very little oil mostly water uh, it can come in eau de parfum which I believe has what 20 to 30 percent I looked at it I'm not I forget of oil in it something like that and then extrait I know it's not extrait I think I don't think the T is pronounced extrait de parfum which has more oil maybe 20 to 30 something like that girl I don't know okay I looked at it quickly I can't I, I didn't memorize all of it but I learned that yesterday because in my order I got a sample of an extrait extrait parfum and de parfum and I was like oh what is this and this is good I have it on my wish list it's Andromeda Andromeda Tizania girl this is Italian Tizian mm -mm, I can't I can't pronounce it but it smells phenomenal I'm gonna add that it, it already is on my wish list one day I'm gonna get that okay so I got the Maison Margeau excuse me I'm getting confused anyway MFK gentle fluidity okay and I recorded a reel that I'm gonna post soon and as I was because I unboxed it in the reel and I was looking at it and I was like hold on what is this this looks so different from it the way it looked in the store so I went online and I was sent the wrong item this is not gold I wanted gold I didn't want the regular one well when I ordered this I used a coupon that I got from ordering something else from Lehman so this was 20% off if I, if I return this and repurchase I'm not gonna get that discount so I was I was chatting with with I almost said group chat I'm sleepy okay I was chatting with customer service and I printed out the return label and then I thought to myself wait a minute no I guess I have to keep it because when I return I'm not gonna get the discount that is annoying I, I know that I didn't ask her but it's obvious like hello I'm gonna get the return I'm gonna get the amount that I paid for it which is not the full price okay well I spritzed it and it does really smell good it does really really smell good it's just not what I wanted but it does really, really smell good. So eventually I will get the gold, but I'm keeping the sun. I'm keeping this regular one <clears throat> because it smells so good. It's purple. And right away, that was a dead giveaway. I was like, excuse me, what is this? It was not purple in the store. It was gold. It looked gold. So that already, and then it didn't say gold. I was like, excuse me, I was sent the wrong thing. This is 2.4 ounces. You don't need a lot of this. This is so good. It's a French fragrance. It is very luxurious. You know, it's up there with Hermes and all the others. This is not, you know, this is not for the children. You know what I mean? We, we have had this kind of discussion in the past. This is very much grown and sexy. It's very much... I've arrived, you know, not in the you can't sit with me type of way, but kind of, you know what I mean? So yeah, I am excited because this does really smell good and thank God I like it because I'm not going to return it. I'm going to have two, the regular, and now I cannot remember the difference. Ooh, look at the sun going down. Now I can't remember the difference in the scent. I know that it was different. I just don't know what it was that was different about it. So when I get the other one, then I'll know. I also ordered Baccarat Rouge. It wasn't, I was not going to get it, except when I smelled it on Carmen, I think I told you this already, I was blown away. I was blown away. Right away, I said, excuse me, what do you have on? I need that now. So I did get Baccarat Rouge. I did pay that full price though. And that's when I got the coupon later. And I was like, well, coupon, let me go ahead and get that one too. Girl, I can't do it. Okay. so gentle fluidity if you <laughs> are looking for a very pricey fragrance that's your baby it's not at sephora because you know they're gonna have their sales twice a year so soon it'll be coming up that's not is it no right it's not at sephora so you know they have more options online than in store because they sell hermes but i ha i haven't ever asked about it in store so i don't know but it's, it's online though anyway Mm -hmm. yeah girl so I'm excited because that smells so good I'm gonna take this with me on my trip I'm going to make a travel version of this to put into my purse for my my most my not my most recent my upcoming trip oh yes it's giving money it's giving money and it has the kind of top that can be broken down look oh yes it's giving money so actually let me do that now while it's top of mind and then i'll put that in my purse i'm excited 
But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah, you You always make Yo, yo, what up? Today, I decided to take it easy again. I was going to do that tomorrow. That meaning take it easy, meaning rest. My plan was to do that tomorrow. However, I woke up today and didn't work out like I wanted to. Ooh, this is dark. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I almost knocked down a candle. Jesus, lamb. Thank God I didn't knock down. Oh, that would be so messy. Wow, God is with me. Okay, so I was gonna use tomorrow as my day of rest, but I, I already, I also went to bed knowing that if I just felt like resting today, I would just rest today. So I, I'm sure I subconsciously set myself up for this, but I have no issue with it. Thank God I have that flexibility. A few things. Me woke up and yeah, I, mean, I woke up to my and I ran into Nini's room and he had a nosebleed, so I helped him clean that up. Uh, I wonder if any of you have children, if you have small children, and if you still use the, I, I un unbuckled my bra, so it's <laughs> my sports bra, that was gonna work out and I didn't, so it's like protruding. Do you have small children and do you still use the monitor? Because I do, I firmly believe, okay, that monitor gotta be in that room and here's why. That, number one, because I would not have heard him through the walls and he knows to stay over his bed and not run over to me because I don't want the, that to be dripping all over the house. He knows that. The room wasn't cold. I, he has, what, sinus? He has allergies and so we're used to it now and so is he. So he knows to just stay right there and, we'll, and I'm, we're doing laundry. We do laundry every single day, okay? So I heard that loud and clear because I keep his monitor on and I, I mean, I jumped right up. I also have, anyway, so yeah, so I just want to know if you have children, small children, do you still use a monitor? Because I still find it helpful. I just keep it in the room. I don't carry it with me around the house. I keep it in the room because at night I need to know. So if he's coughing a lot, I'll know and I'll go in there and give him some medicine. Whatever it is, I just will know, okay? That's number one. And then number two, when it comes to skincare, I want to remind you that it is very, very important. It will behoove you to have a dermatologist. If you, I'm hungry, I need to find something to eat. If you have skin issues, like, why is this so dark in here today? <laughs> like acne, okay? It will behoove you to get a dermatologist because having just a skincare routine is not going to work best for you. Having both a skincare routine and a dermatologist is really important. I do recognize when I post, many people feel like, oh, I just need to do a skincare routine, not have skin like yours. There's more to it. There are genetics, number one. So what your family line looks like, that's what you got. And number two, the dermatologist is important. So I have both. If you've got acne, just doing over-the-counter routines may not be the best route for you but if you had a dermatologist you could attack the issue quickly it's like having a cold a really bad cold if i go to the doctor which i don't i can get an antibiotic or whatever they give and then i could shorten the, the span of my cold but i normally do over the counter stuff so the cold might last seven to ten days when it could have been like three days i'm just saying as an example i don't go to the doctor so i don't even know how fast they i don't go to the doctor for that for that reason excuse me let me correct myself i don't go to the doctor for colds okay i just medicate at home so if you were to get a dermatologist understand my my analogy here you would get to the root faster and your skin would be so great because you're going to get prescription strength medication for your acne or your dry skin or whatever it is so that's number one do not follow any skincare routine i have or anybody has online if you have troubling or what persistent skin issues and let's say the skincare routine just ain't taking care of it okay that's the caveat if you don't have persistent skincare issues and whatever you're doing over the counter is working for you go ahead and do it but I'm talking about acne specifically. Listen, I have rosacea. It's apparently in the same acne family. You need to find a dermatologist, okay? 
and you need to get some of that prescription strength medicine, you know that I'm using a concoction that is made up of clindamycin, niacinamide, and tretinoin. Okay, very, very important. I'm not just doing all this stuff I, you see on the videos. I also show you when I apply my prescription too, and I do that every other day. It is the foundation of my skincare routine. It is the foundation. And of course, genetics do play a part. You gotta look at how your granny and your mommy looking, okay? That's gonna tell you one or two things, all right? But I just want you to get a dermatologist, honey. I, Curology need to go ahead and sponsor me, but Curology is very affordable, okay? You've got a provider, usually a nurse practitioner, it's virtual, they checking you out, pictures, they're gonna send you what you need, you know, two months apply, you good. Dermatologist with your health care back where you are might cost you a lot more. I don't know. It's just it's just the chronology is just easy. But get you a dermatologist, please, especially for teenagers. I wish I understood a lot of this stuff when I was young. I wouldn't have had to deal with it. But for people who feel like, oh, I have dark spots, let me just get vitamin C, let me just get retinol and then I'll be fine. Excuse me, no. You want to start at the root of the issue. You want to find out why you're breaking out. Is it environmental? Is it because you work at a restaurant and you're frying sausages and steaks all day? All that grease on your face? Oh, you bet you're going to have acne. Oh my God, you're going to have it for sheezy. Is it because you're always touching your face? Hands are dirty, bacteria transferring to the face, acne. Is it because... You're a teenager. Do you have a daughter or a son that's going through it? Or even there's such thing as adult acne. I mean, is it because we just have acne? Like, I don't know. I think everyone has like, I don't even know. You know, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just a skin and skin enthusiast, okay? But there's a reason behind all of it. And then depending on where the acne shows up on your face, there are face maps. You can literally Google it. It tells you what the cause is usually. So mine is on my chin. It's hormonal. It's going to happen. It is what it is. Don't tell me to cut out milk. Don't tell me to cut it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just continue with my prescription and what I do over the counter. And it it's, it's, it's at bay for me and I'm fine. But if you want to just address the dark spots without addressing the root, then you're always going to be doing this stuff at, was it's not proactive, reactive. Then you're going to be reactive. That's a waste of time. Why not just kill the bacteria in your pores before it even turns into a pimple. Why not just kill that thing right at its root so that you're not having to worry about curing the dark spots? Because if you've been following me for years, you know that I used to have dark spots on my cheeks and forehead. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to be annoying. And it was because the different rashes and things and whatever, and then I would be, whatever I'd be doing, I wasn't doing what I should have been, it would turn to dark spot. Okay, but now my only issue with dark spots is on my chin because I have hormonal acne that's just gonna keep on coming out, okay? So I encourage you to get to the root of it, find a dermatologist, figure out what exact it, what exactly is the cause and then get your prescription and then use your prescription in combination with what you're doing if your doctor says yes or no yay and nay do your every other day don't mix don't mix the, the different harsh actives all, all the things i don't want to confuse you but i basically want to say get you a dermatologist don't just do a skincare routine and expect for everything to be miraculous because if you continue to attack the dark spots and don't attack the acne you are going to always you're going to always be trying to lighten dark spots. I'm not always trying to lighten dark spots. What I do is maintain a routine so that my skin continues to be blemish free and continues to be even. I'm not trying to lighten dark spots per se. So I'm just maintaining right now. But if you're always trying to lighten dark spots, you're always going to be trying to lighten dark spots unless you figure out what is causing the dark spots, which is acne. And so you want to figure out what is causing the acne. That's where the doctor comes in. Hope that's helpful. Oh, saying you didn't know, but I know